Hello and a merry holiday season to all of our Dice Break fans. We are here uh, for one of the first RPG records we've done in a long time, actually. Uh, because we are about to play Grant Howitt's legendary one-page RPG, Honey Heist. Honey! A game in which we are criminal bears. <laughs> very Merry Christmas. <laughs> Matt Jarvis, you've so taken a direct a element from the RPG that I planned right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Um, by the time you're watching this, it's probably closer to New Year's than it is Christmas, but it's the holiday uh, season. Still Christmas. A very wow. merry Christmas. New Year's. Ooh. It's one of the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> the bear so one. Yeah. yeah. Bear day. Yeah. Bear day. Mm. It's yeah. bear day. New you know, Bear's uh, Eve. Chinese on the fifth Zodiac. day of Christmas, my true love bought to me five roving bears. Oh Christ, it's a bear. <laughs> oh heck, it's a Running bear. Running this wonderful uh, mess of an RPG is going to be our very own Liv Kennedy. Liv! Hello! I'm not a guest GM, I'm here all the time. <laughs> How are we just going? <laughs> um, we also are going to be acting as players. Myself, Matt Jarvis. And Alex Meehan, how are you both doing? I feel like acting as players immediately is an overstatement as to <laughs> the approach I take to playing any mm -hmm. RPG character. I'm an Meehan's, actor. Meehan's got yeah. a nose, all right? Some of us made an effort. Mm. <laughs> well, you know, you I mean, get method actors and you get those who just, in the moment, yeah, like yeah. Uh, in, in my defense, those, I'm, not, but... I'm not a bit. I'm, I'm the world, so. You're, yeah, you're everything else. Whoa. Yeah. Um, you're the but, world. Meehan, should we start with you and should we, should we introduce our characters? which have been randomly generated via the tables of the one-page RPG. Yeah, by God. <laughs> Consult by God. the tables. <laughs> the, the God bear. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My character is called Giggles. <laughs> uh, she, Excellent. She's a retired black bear. Mm -hmm. So she used to, you know, pull off big heists back in the day. But now she's taking it easy, as is her one. Uh, and she's kind of like the muscle of the operation. So she's ripped, you know, absolutely jacked, uh, shredded like yeah. a ninja turtle, etc., uh -huh. etc. Uh, and she wears both. Well, she wears a bowler hat. Oh, she does. Mm. Oh, foreshadowing. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing there. Very nice. Okay. okay. She wears. Both bowler hats. <laughs> right. She wears both a single bowler hat and nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes, I suppose so. Um, thank you, Giggles. Um, Matt Jarvis, who would you who are you playing today? Uh, I'm Sunny. Uh, that's Sunny with an O. Thank you very much. Sunny. Uh, Just like Sunny Kiss. I am a predictably a sun bear. Mm -hmm. uh, I. Uh, are we are we chatting about our traits now, or are we are we just uh, letting them? Um, we can let them uh, come up organically because they might not come yeah, up at sure. all. Okay. So, I was sunburned. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, that's that's the role. Yeah, my type. my trait is is to be retired, but that's not really a personality trait. It's Me more... out here golfing. <laughs> it's more like a status of being. So you yeah. don't have to say your trait if you don't want to. I said it because I feel like it's relevant. To, to yeah. kind of setting well, up the situation that my character is in, Mr. Jarvis, carry on. Well, Sonny is the is the brains, um, but he's also quite incompetent. So that's why he's kind of ended up with this group is he's got these great ideas and they're generally well constructed, but then execution is it's just not his thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that's how you yeah, know he's I he's the ideas that. he's the ideas bear, uh, and then <laughs> like from there it's just delegation. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, amazing. Um, Michael Whelan. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's you. Who, who, who are you playing then? Right. Well, I'm oh, Rick. Well. I'm Slick. <laughs> Some people call me Slick Rick, but I don't like that. Uh, mm. I'm an honey badger. I'm the driver, don't you know? Huh? Uh, and I've got a top hat, which I think is uh, very flashy. I'm voiced by Danny Dyer. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, Danny Dyer's daughter, Danny Dyer's dad, Danny Dyer. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I'm Rick. That's about it, really. I'll get us two places, I'll get us out of places. No worries. Mm -hmm. All right, no worries. Um, thank you, Rick, and thank you, Sunny. I didn't thank you, Sunny. Um, so, <laughs> uh, 
Um, it will just go through um, the rules briefly. There are rules is a very flexible term. Um, basically, you have two stats. Everyone, those stats are bear and crime. Yeah, there you go. And so you have those two dice, and you start off with three. You're on three points for both bear and crime. Um, to complete an action, uh, you have to roll either equal to or under your stat to successfully complete it. Um, and those stats will change depending on if you run into like frustrations or you get greedy. So if you uh, run into a difficulty when you're trying to execute the plan, then it goes from criminal to bear. If you get greedy and your plan goes out without, off without a hitch, well, then you, you're more criminal than bear at that point. So it, the point goes into criminal. <laughs> they say they're more criminal than bear. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, so we start the game as the sequel to Too Fast, Too Furious, which is three bear, three crime. <laughs> Was that also the sequel to uh, Goldilocks, right? It's like after three that, bear, yeah, three life crime. of yeah. crime. Yeah. That's when they all joined up as a gang. Yeah. And went out and did this. That's actually, it's us. That's who we are. Whoa! <laughs> a great porridge robbery. Yeah. That's Daddy Bear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're part of the uh, fairy tales extended universe. Sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, also worth saying that you each have a special skill that we haven't discussed yet Ooh, yes. this surprises um, when you do something to do with that special skill and you use it as an action you can roll 2d6 and take the lower option um, yes thank you wheels I'm, um, I'm doing the hand modelling <laughs> beautiful glorious uh, oh, why are you doing hand like wheels it's a QVC advert <laughs> yeah you could have had a fabulous career in front of you. Um, wow, and, and is that genuine resin? Oh, it is, <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, and we've only got 20 more of these to go, so <laughs> come down. Order now and you'll get an entirely different set of things you don't want for free. <laughs> <laughs> please take them, please. Um, <laughs> uh, also worth saying that if you feel as though you're getting too close to either bear or criminal, you can uh, be more criminal by doing a flashback sequence where you discuss the plan over cig uh, cigarettes and coffee in the back room of a CD bar. Um, and that's a flashback sequence. Or if you want to be more bare, you can eat a load of honey. If you get to like number six on either bare or criminal, then you have goofed up, friend, because um, if your criminal stat ever reaches six, you are lured into a life of crime and betray the party. <gasps> Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a there's a betrayal mechanic in this game. There's, <laughs> sure, there's a betrayal, yeah. <laughs> it's a hidden role that none of us know yet. Um, and if your bear stat ever reaches six, you flip out bear style and lose it. Bear um, style. Bear style. Um, yeah, so that... Uh, yeah, so that is basically, basically it. Yeah. Um, so if we're all ready to get started... Ooh. Ready is, is set born to be a bear. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Now, um, the thing is, you were talking about the fact that you are the three bears <laughs> uh, featuring Goldilocks. Um, but you, that was. Well, we killed was... Goldilocks. <laughs> she had to go. All right. She, all right. she, was, she was trouble, mate. She <laughs> was trouble. Um, well, the thing is that that was a, a few years ago now. Because now you have disbanded. Um, I know. It's a twist. That's what high starts. All about the twists, folks. Um, <laughs> and so um, a couple of you have taken a step outside the life of crime, which would include um, Giggles, who is retired. <laughs> yeah. And Sunny, who is incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting a lot of work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but still in the game is is one Rick, the bear. Um, so Rick, true. Uh, yeah. you work alongside um, one of your closest confidants, um, who is who is Honey the bear. Oh, Honey, yeah, I know Honey. Yeah, yeah Honey the bear, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, thing is, up until recently, you were working fine, everything was all good. But recently, uh, let's say a day ago, uh, one of your regular heist went awry um and honey has been kidnapped <gasps> ba, ba, ba. so yeah your partner in crime who's always been there for you who didn't leave like the other two uh has been taken away from you during oh, honey! <laughs> <laughs> Rick! uh he screams as he is taken away um 
Um, yeah, so uh, what kind of heist do you think that you were pulling off as, as Honey was taken away? Um, well, Liv, yes. as you know. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Uh -huh. Honey was Honey was taken um, by uh, a horrible mm -hmm. Christmas circus. Whoa! Um, and forced to work as a dancing bear. That's terrible. Isn't that right, Liv? <laughs> um, my I don't know, you asked me. Look. No, but like, the thing is that, yes, that is exactly right. That's what I had planned. Um, so... <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, all you saw um, was um, a tall, lanky figure um, mm. and who, is, who is instructing people to grab honey and take him away into the darkness and that is all you saw and now you are in dire need danny yeah. dire need mm. i'm in danny dire need you're in danny <laughs> dire need um of a, of a crew and it is your job to assemble that crew so oh, you're uh, like the george clooney of the group yeah yes mm. that's so. me i'm well, i've always been the george clooney of the group um yeah <laughs> <laughs> You do um, love to just sell me coffee, yeah. I do, yeah. Because I can't drink it. So, you know, I'm just like, well, not can't, I just don't want to. So I'm just sort of, you know, giving it out to everyone else. Yeah, bears are notoriously allergic to coffee and they can't That's have right. It. Um, not honey, though. And not that's honey. Important thing. No, exactly. Um, so who would you like to set out and try to find first? Um, I think... I think because I, I assume that there's no way we're going to get the... The old retired maverick back, you know. <laughs> Good old giggles, yeah. Yeah. Good old giggles. Giggles Say McGee. Not their name in my presence. Um, yeah, giggles McGee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Giggles, look, giggles left this life of crime, and, yeah. and I'm not sure that they'd ever come back to it. So I'm starting out with the only one I can trust, the only one I really know as my back at all times. Well, sort of, and that's <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> no, you mean Honey? Honey? No, um, no, Honey's gone. Um, yeah, Sonny. Honey is gone, and therefore, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sonny. Uh, whereabouts do you think Sonny is on this fine day? Uh, I feel like Sonny is probably just, you know, he's he's trying to he's he's continually on a self, uh, like self-improvement journey mm -hmm. uh, i think he's aware of his his weaknesses uh, yeah. in terms of you know can be quite book smart but maybe not uh, as like like dexterous or agile and things like that so i feel like he's always doing that but the way he always tries to improve is by reading more books uh, which mm -hmm. in the end doesn't really improve things because he's got like the technical knowledge mm -hmm. um so stunny's probably at the library Whatever a bear library looks like. A bear library. Okay, cool. No, it's a yeah. regular human library. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's always empty every time I come here. Like, it seems to be full of people before I arrive. And then as soon as I step through the door, they're gone. Just gone. Just disappeared. It's an absolute nightmare trying to find anything without any help. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, it's uh, pretty clear where uh, Sunny is at the moment, to be honest, Rick, because there's... Um, uh, a group of cars and <laughs> and people with big nets and, <laughs> <laughs> and people screaming, running away from the yeah. library. Gathered like, well, around the that's library. That's where Sunny is. Then. <laughs> um, but uh, the thing is, that's the thing. Uh, it, the place is surrounded, so you're going to have to figure out a way to get in. Um, Any ideas? Well, as you know, Liv. Yeah. Uh, as the driver. Yeah. <laughs> um, my go-to vehicle is uh, the Waitrose delivery van. Right. Because I reckon just most people won't ask any questions because most people <laughs> in the UK are like, well, I spelled my station, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> so so what I do is I nick Waitrose delivery vans and drive them around. So uh -huh. I reckon, yeah. and correct me if I'm wrong, uh -huh. <laughs> I can just drive right straight through the blockade. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to need from you is a roll for this because <laughs> this is extremely criminal activity. <laughs> yeah, no, it's quite criminal. Yeah. I am a bit of a criminal. A little bit. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking to get a three or under. Uh, first exactly. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's a six. That's a six. Uh, that would normally be It's about as far good. away from under three as you can get. Yes, exactly. Um, so <laughs> you, uh, you go to your regular Waitrose Depot, ready yeah. to pick up this, this van of yours. Um, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're all gone. 
They're all taking that. Like, kidding. It's, cri- it's Christmas time. It is Christmas. Mm. Everyone's getting their mm. Heston Blumenthal chicken sauce. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> um, so your trusty um, fallback, I'm afraid, is is not there at the moment. And I would say that is somewhat frustrating. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I it's 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 not gone according to plan. It really has it. not. No. So I would like you to move your bear stat. <laughs> up by one <laughs> you would not mind for the sheer okay. lack of waitrose delivery vans uh <laughs> look we've all been there we, we have we, we yeah. haven't but... <laughs> yeah i don't know about mm. you but i don't order from waitrose on the reg so <laughs> well it's because all their vans keep getting nicked by bears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right okay so what, what kind of vehicle have we got going on here Liv? all right well i mean you know you've got your regular you know your go-to you're the driver you have a car yeah that's fine yeah, no, I'm waitrose saying my, van. my car is the Waitrose <laughs> delivery van. <laughs> now, that's the backup. You have to go to the depot to get that. But you have, like, a backup car. They're like, oh, if I can't use the Waitrose delivery van, I guess I'll use my Ford Montego. I don't know what car. <laughs> well, no, what, what I've got is a Toyota Corolla Brilliant. with the word Waitrose drawn on the side <laughs> of it in, in Sharpie. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Uh, what is it? Just like red, and it's got like green writing on the side or something. Uh, no, it's uh, it's a white car with yeah, green sharpie. Right, brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> um, yeah, so you hop into Italian your job esque. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hop into your car and you're able to mm-hmm. make your way up to the scene. Um, yeah. So, do you say anything to anyone, or do you just make your way through as if you're making your regular delivery? What? Yeah. What? What I want to do? Yeah. Is. Uh, is to just you know you know that kind of brisk confident walk you do where people are like oh he's supposed to <laughs> yeah i'm trying to do that but in a car i obviously i'm wearing sunglasses at all time because i'm slick yeah you know? yeah I'm slick rick don't don't call me that but i'm slick rick <laughs> uh so you know after sort of a freshly pomaded uh hair on the on the crest of my bare head yeah. uh, i i just sort of slowly drive past whoever is manning the uh the blockade that's been set up around the library animal control very risky and just give him one of those you know okay i will past. say uh, as an experience in my experience as a driver a lot of people suddenly gain an insane amount of confidence whenever they yeah, get yeah. behind the yeah. wheel of a car 100 percent. so i oh, think I that, well, that you could pull this off <laughs> Yeah, I think definitely as both you have the appeal of the car, even mm-hmm. though it looks kind of weird, um, and you are Slick Rick, I think you can pull this off <laughs> with the amount of confidence you do have. Um, right. So yeah, you can pull your car up in front of the library, which presumably doesn't have any any kind of <laughs> catering facilities, um, and stroll on in. I mean, it might uh, have I, a cafe. I assume, <laughs> yeah, I assume they've got some kind of Waitrose tie-in cafe. Mm. Sure, um, like a panini press is there. Is exactly. There. Mm. Yeah, yeah, sure. 100%. Cool. You know, like, they've got cafes in, like, Primark now. You know, they've got them yeah. everywhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. one bookshelf is just missing books, but it's just sandwiches stacked up in a line. <laughs> but alphabetically ordered, so they're very easy to find. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, something with American cheese. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What does it end with? Like, American cheese, it's avocado, zucchini, bacon, zucchini. Oh, okay. Thank you. Excellent stuff. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm the GM. Okay. Uh, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> you um, you make your way into the library, and who do you find there? But Sunny taking in yeah. some academic reading. So I think what's happened is uh, Sunny is sort of like looking at books on a shelf. And I think they pull one off, <laughs> and my face is just behind it, like, Sonny, mate. Sonny, I need your help. Sonny! Oh, hi, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, uh, are you here looking for, for something? Uh, I probably look up at the section that I'm in, which mm. almost certainly is nothing that Rick would be interested in. It's like, I don't know, uh, the history of Grecian art yeah. uh, from, like... 19 or 1900 AD to 1700 AD very Brilliant. specifically no love that Got it. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, you were a fan of um vases <laughs> you bloody well know I am sonny oh well, listen, yeah well there's something more pressing oh, that needs really? our attention uh well I'd beg to differ Rick but I'll I'll hear you out 
listen, Sonny, I sort of grab you by the rough a little bit. Oh, that's um, <laughs> uncomfortable. Um, like through the bookshelf. <laughs> like I know you've got to listen to me, mate. I need your help. It's honey. They've got honey. Uh, I mean, well, the honey's quite abundantly available. <laughs> what <laughs> kind of honey? Yeah. I'm talking about my partner in crime, my best friend. Oh, that's a. Uh... Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, why? Why are you here? Is there a, a book you're, you're after? A Listen, book on how to how to help? I'm asking you for help, sunshine. I'm asking for my second best friend to come and help me out. <laughs> oh well, that's very that's very kind. Um, <laughs> I, 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 well, I suppose I mean. I'll be honest with you, Rick. You probably fall a little bit lower on the rankings for me, but <laughs> well, I'm. I'm 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 not I'm not particularly busy, so uh, I yeah I, I, I can help you out sure. I knew I could count on you, Sonny. You've always been my favourite Richard Aowardi impersonator. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Ramat, very kind, Rick. From outside, you from outside you hear come out with your paws up. <laughs> oh, I think the library's about to close, Rick. <laughs> right, yeah. We better go out the back entrance if you know what I mean. Uh as we as we leave, I think um Sonny like returns a book onto the desk. <laughs> like the idea that you sort of put the book down and turn around and like a sleeping dart just like misses you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think he also so you know like they stamp the I little page say, that's in the middle. I think he like dips a pour. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say exactly that. You follow proper procedure and you pour you yeah. dip your pour in and give it a stamp. And uh, that is the only relic of this day that most people will call a fever dream. A collective fever dream. Unintentional calling cards. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so you're able to... The thing is, though, Rick, your car's at the front still. Um, it is. It's at the front. Uh, I reckon I'm going to have to hotwire on. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think you'll have to come back to the waitress van later. Um, yeah. But you're able to slip out the van. Van is very and... generous. No, I, I appreciate you calling it a van. Yeah, I no, appreciate look. you suspending your disbelief there, Liv. Thank you. Yeah, it's quite all right. I'll play into the fantasy. It's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, the two of you are able to slip out of the back of the library. And um, I presume that you might, in fact, be trying to reach out to the Maverick. The one, the once great, now retired, Gales the Bear. Don't say their name. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So no hard feelings then, huh? <laughs> um, Giggles the Bear, whereabouts are you then? Well, Giggles, you know, as many people in the UK, when they retired, went to some sort of backwater town in... Butlands. <laughs> in Butlands? Butlands isn't a town. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Basically. It's... No, they, they went to like, I don't know, Cot the Cotswold. And now they, mm -hmm. they're in a town called Bumble on... <laughs> Five? <laughs> <laughs> Carry on <laughs> camping. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't know, but Bumble on the River, let's say. Right, gotcha. You know, you know what I'm talking about, like, like, Scumble yeah. Gumb. Like, the town <laughs> Scumble Gum. on Thames or whatever. Um, yeah. uh, Rimp Fipple. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they went to the quaint, <laughs> the quaint town of, <laughs> of Scumble Gum. Um, yeah. And mm -hmm. they... Run Scorp. Yeah. <laughs> and they like to spend their... They essentially they they kind of idolise the 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 retired dream of not mm. really doing much, uh, and sort of sort of walking around town. Uh, so I think at the moment they're in their uh, favourite spot in local tea mm. rooms, uh, yeah. sat in a chair that's very small, way too small for them, <laughs> uh, mm. in the corner mm. of the tea room. And everyone else has kind of sat like away, yeah, just from like the table. Like, they seem like they they used to giggles by now. Yeah. So, but so like, but they're still afraid of them. Yeah, giggles. So is... they are pressed into the back, the corner of the room, opposite you, just like. Yeah, yeah. Giggles is wearing a big coat, uh, and like um, one of those shirts that are like little straps, and then like the rest of the shirt 
so you can see their bulging muscles underneath. Uh, Terrifying. Yeah. yeah. They're just yeah. wearing a tank top. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, she also has a big sun hat on on top of the bowler hat. Uh-huh. Right, okay. Uh, and she has, a pair, uh, she has a pair of those little inconspicuous John Lennon sunglasses on. Mm. Uh, and she yeah. you can just sort of see her surreptitiously looking around and she like pulls out of the pocket of her coat a little hip flask like turns it, pulls it into oh. the teacup t- turns it back and puts it back in her pocket and then mm. just like clumsily picks up the, the very small teacup and just <laughs> just like t- like, like um, claws yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Creating um, even more of a tense atmosphere. Uh, she just um, picks up the newspaper and goes, <clears throat> Wait, what? Mm, yes. I see. Uh, today's news. Uh, <laughs> good crossword. I like that. <laughs> She just looks oh, at yeah. it. <laughs> she, she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't do it. Just, no. She, she just do the crossword. That, that, she just likes the idea of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's living the like, idyllic yeah. retired life. But... Now, would you say this uh, idyllic uh, retired life, is it living up to her expectations? You know, it's conflicting. Yeah. Just, like <laughs> a bear, just like a bear's existence of the crime mm. and the bear. Like, you know, mm. both of those things I say, well, depending on your perspective, <laughs> both mm. of those things don't really fit that well with a quiet, retired life, unless you yeah. were, you know, committing fraud or something. Um, Is she committing fraud? I think a little bit, just to kind right. of get a little bit of that hit. But, like, yeah, not sure. quite enough that she goes over the edge again. Uh, mm. But I think that little taste, that little morsel of crime. She, she's laundering <laughs> money via a church bake sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's doing that. Like, bake, or the bake sale or the tombola or, like, stuff like that. And it's that, rough because, like, you know, the, the community she's living in, like, um, are accepting her as much as they can. Yeah. But on top of the fact that she's a big, muscly bear, she's also committing fraud. You know, it's just like, it's... Uh, I mean, she she's she knows enough to put a little bit of that money in the pockets of you know, right. like mm. the head of the women's institution. <laughs> oh, is she in the women's institution, the WI? Yes, yeah, she is. She Brilliant. is the WI. Yeah. Um, Listen, this is this is one of those sort of midsummer murder style villages. Yeah. there's always something going. Yeah, there's on, something. You know I mean? yeah, yeah, people dying constantly, but everyone's still okay <laughs> with it. Um, because. People are quite old, I would assume, in, the, in this town. Yeah, right? well, yeah, they just, they just, like, oh. they just say, they just say, oh, they just died of old age, and clearly, like, an entire wine, wine bottle has been, like, launched at them from, like, across the... That happened. By right? you. Yeah. No, no, not by you. Because, no. 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 Classic death. They went, they went quietly in their sleep with three giant bear claw marks on their back. <laughs> <laughs> no. Giggles hasn't. What can you do? Giggles hasn't <laughs> killed anyone yet. And coincidentally, like uh, yeah. they did win the Bake Off at the at the WI the other day, you know. <laughs> because she knows if she takes that step, then that's it. All you know, everything's just loose, and she's just gonna go full crime. So, yeah. but that little taste of crime, the little mm, morsel is no. can't. It's pushing her towards it again. Like she remembers cool. what it's like, so she's on the precipice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like every day she's walking around like the charity shop, or whatever, and like the temptation to do crime. It's like a constant <laughs> battle. You know? Yeah. So she sat. She sat like in the tea room, sort of looking, looking mm-hmm. for a newspaper, commenting. So, around. I think it's fair to say then that the little flask you took out, perhaps that's filled with honey, just to quell that criminal mm. urge. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Possibly. Okay. Well. Mm, who could say? We've got always a coping. Exactly. <laughs> um, Rick and Sunny, uh, you find yourself in this quaint little <laughs> uh, hamlet. Scumblebum. Um, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. I think Scumble that's bum? not what I said, but it's. Rump. <laughs> yeah, no, Scumblebum right. now. <laughs> Scumblebum. Um, <laughs> you find yourself in Scumblebum. Um, and uh, yeah, you. Um, what, what, where, where do you go for? Where do you go first? Do you think to to look, to, to stake out for giggles? Sorry, my cat started itching. Uh, scratching. Sorry. 
Um, mm -hmm. So, like, we know Giggles pretty well at this point, right? I would say you do. Mm -hmm. We know Giggles. We know she has a propensity for for tea parties. Because um, mm -hmm. it was it was a constant <laughs> nagging pain, if you remember, Sunny. Yeah. Yeah, that mean, that was the way she got into the kind of ideal retired life. She yeah. she started with the tea party and kind of went from there. Smooth criminal, here he is. Here he is. Oh, hello there, boy. Boy, yes, hello, boy. Hello, boy. Scumblebump. Hi. Um, Scumblebump. Yeah, he's really. <laughs> yeah, he's really Toto. Toto is the mm -hmm. mayor of Scumblebump. Yeah. <laughs> I so. I do have a quick question. Of course. Uh, I, I earlier I, I googled how big is a honey badger, <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's about this yeah. big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, not huge. <laughs> they're just very vicious, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so like I assume really I'm tiny, quite small in comparison bear. to the other. Yeah, things. I mean, yes. yeah, a black a black bear is quite. It's like human sized. Well, sizable, yeah. Not the yeah. biggest, but it's up there. I don't know what some. Not grizzly, but pretty big. Grizzly is. That's why they Some bear around. is also about the same size as a black bear, just a bit okay. elongated instead. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're a small guy. Yeah. All right, so I, I think I can use that to my advantage. Sure. Uh, so why not? And sort of. I want to, I wanna like. Stop me if you've got a better plan here, Sonny, but what, what I want to oh, do always. is. Always. What I want to do is sort of crawl under the tables. Mm hmm. The old uh, Nick and Nair, as we used to call it. <laughs> the what? <laughs> Everyone knows uh, uh, Cockney Bear rhyming slang, right? Uh, yeah, uh, sure. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm, I want to, I want to crawl under the old tables of the Nick and Nair, grab a little plinky plonker, uh, and just slip it into the pockets of old of old giggles here. A, a Nick and Nair? What, what is it? A, a, a Nick, Nick and Nair. Nick and Nair. What is that? Uh, which means, <laughs> uh, you know, t -shop. It, it's a, a T-shirt. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. No, I'm not going to go for all the iterations of the rhyme with you. Then, of course. Sorry. Sorry. Forgive me. I, <laughs> I just wanted to know what you were doing. Um yeah. <laughs> um. yeah. So you put something in Giggle's pocket. Yeah. Yeah, I want to slip something into Giggle's pocket All so right. that she's not aware it's in there. You want to cool. slip, not slick. Mm -hmm. No, not slick. Okay. No. <laughs> I want to it. slickly slip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as you are, as you are slick, I would mm -hmm. say that this is, you know, pretty simple for you to do. Um, and as you are distracted by it's your, it's not very criminal or bear-like, I'd say either. So I don't think there's a problem here, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's slightly. The criminal. police haven't arrived yet. Well, I don't. I don't think going into a tea shop is a crime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sneaking in and trying to pretend that somebody has stolen something, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that's why. You... Right. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, you slip it. You slip something in there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess giggles. The next time you go to reach into your pocket for your flask, uh, I think this time uh, she's reaching for her cigarettes, and she, she she's gonna light one up. And there is a big sign on the window saying "No smoking, please." But mm. but no one wants to go up to her and tell her she can't do it. It's a slippery slope. So it again, is. it's small it crimes, the small ones. Mm. So she yeah. she reaches into her pocket to get her cigarettes out, mm -hmm. and she's like, she's trying to get an asbo. <laughs> <laughs> she she's like rooting around there. She's like, what, what is what is this? She pulls out. What does she pull out, Wills? Uh, some of the fine china from this this lovely this establishment. establishment. Uh, she reaches in there. She's like, <laughs> did, I, uh, did I do that? Um, <laughs> at that point. I can't remember whether I did that. In your ear. Oh, God. You hear a familiar cockney twang. <laughs> Saying, life crime. No! Oh! It's tough to get away from, isn't it? Giggles, me old love, me old mugger, hey? Yeah, I know that voice, Rick. <laughs> I've, I've never heard a more slicker voice. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't That's know what you're talking about. Um, crime, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Giggles. We need that 
maverick maneuver of yours. I told you. We need that propensity for danger. I left that life behind. I'm in, a, I'm in the Women's Institute now. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's all rubbish. Giggles. You eat women. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Look out that window right now. Tell me what you see. Uh, Giggles looks out the window and, yeah, there's a pond with some ducks. Uh, there's an <laughs> old couple sort of mm-hmm. giving them some bread, which they shouldn't I do because was... ducks shouldn't eat bread. Um, oh, and that is also a crime. That is also a crime. <laughs> and then, in fact, she sees, like... I presume she also sees Sunny. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, are you sat at a table? Yeah, uh, yeah. Giggles. I think while you're having this kind of gruff conversation with Rick, yeah. halfway through, Sonny just like walks in through the front door and is like, oh, hi, Giggles, and just sits down <laughs> opposite you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't, don't let me interrupt. Forget about the window bit. Just have a look in front of you. Tell me what you see. Oh, I must see a small, incompetent <laughs> criminal in front of me. Oh, that's very that's rude. Right. Normally they say it behind my back, but... Uh, well, you know, we always sort of know that, <laughs> you know, a bit of incompetence going on. Uh, uh, listen, I, I've changed my ways. <laughs> it's, not, it's not about what you're doing in the future. It's about what you're doing now. Retirement can always be pushed back by one more job. And I've got, I need your help. Trust me, Giggles, if I didn't need your help, I wouldn't be here. On, on me old hands and knees. Groveling. <laughs> I do like it when you're on your hands and knees. I have to we say. We don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they give me a sense of power. Um, uh, God, what am I doing here? And she looks around all the finery and the doilies and the stuff. Mm. I will say there is there is one uh, server who comes up over like, come see laughs and just pops them down uh, for each of you and then pirouettes away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah, Giggles sees this. Uh, well, what am I kidding myself? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to die here, bored, <laughs> and, and committing petty crimes. Giggles was meant to go giggles. out one way on one way only you ain't even done your crossword this <laughs> life ain't for you I never <laughs> wanted to do the crosswords I always just like the look of them uh, I'm actually just I'm just reading the cartoons <laughs> and Giggles stands up very abruptly and of course in a small cafe yeah, it's quite a ruckus. Crashes yeah. against yeah. the wall and the, yeah. just the chair sl- slides back into the glass display. Case. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Crashes. Yeah. Uh, I think everyone kind of expected this to happen at some point. It's just when mm-hmm. it would. So everyone's yeah. like, oh, Jesus. And everyone kind of looks relieved. <laughs> the tension you is broken. You just see they're like, they're like, they're really relaxed a little bit. Just kind of like, oh my God. Oh my god, it's happening, it's happening. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Giggles whips off the sun hat to reveal the bowler <laughs> hat underneath. And rips off the coat to reveal the vest. Right. <laughs> Which has stains on it. Uh, and mm. she's like, I've had enough of this. Oh, I'm gonna go and commit real crimes. <laughs> crimes that I'm proud of! <laughs> The server behind the, the table of the uh, desk is just like, oh, she's a, she's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> you damn right I am. It's old time and ever new. There is. <laughs> it's my good I'm friend Giggles, that is. <laughs> I'm a criminal bear. <laughs> and you... That's right, Giggles. Who <laughs> yeah, yeah. always will be. Uh, and with me, and with Sunny here, I... we can achieve some great things. Uh, but it... first, oh. we need to assemble this team for reals. For proper good. Hey, and you know who's missing, Giggles? That was not a rhetorical question, Giggles. Uh, no. <laughs> My best friend. Oh, me old right, yeah. mugger. Honey. Yeah, the other slimy one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, where, where is... That wasn't their fault. They were always covered in it. 
Oh. Honey by name, honey by nature. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you, disembodied voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, where is Huddy these days? You won't believe it. Mm. They've been captured. Oh. That's terrible. Uh, how, uh, can we help? Of course we can. In fact, on the way over here, me old mucker here has been working on a plan, ain't you, Sonny? Oh, yeah. Um, well... Yeah, I, I guess it's more of a rough concept at the moment, <laughs> but Sounds we right. um, hopefully, yeah, all, uh, hopefully go all right. I mean, it's it's good to have you you, you both here. You are a you know a, a steady pair of paws. Uh, yeah, I th- I think there's a good sixty percent chance it will work. Sixty percent. That's better odds than we've ever had before in our lives. <laughs> Giggle. Okay, so yeah, um, giggles. <laughs> Giggles. Uh, yeah, so you have been regaled with the fact that Honey is missing. Uh, what do you think? Are you going to help out your, your friends here? <clears throat> yeah, I'm bored <laughs> here anyway. So uh, retirement's mm. not what it what I thought it would be. So uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to take that. She grabs the, the scone in front of her <gasps> and sort of stuffs it into her mouth. Uh, and then she's like, uh, thanks, Doris. <laughs> the woman in the back. You're right, love. You're right. <laughs> love a new look. Uh, and she just walks out of the tea room. We've, uh, we've hot-wired a, an old ice cream van. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very old. Barely comes around anymore. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um... But but at this time of year, <laughs> who's mm. buying one it anyway? It teddy bear's yeah. picnic as we drive around. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, and I hope it sounds <laughs> like it's sort of warped and... It's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's quite haunting, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Kind of sounds like a weird siren. <laughs> Mate, when, mm. when you... Be- when you've cycled behind an ice cream man and it suddenly mm-hmm. turned its little music on, then you really get the full <laughs> hit of Teddy <laughs> Bear's yeah. picnic. Uh-huh. Let me tell you. I feel like this also should have been a suggestion of Sonny, uh, where he's kind of like the best. The best place to hide is in full is in, in plain, plain view. Sight. Plain yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the thing we should do is get the most obvious mm-hmm. uh, getaway vehicle, and then no one will suspect it. Yeah, yeah it, like it, they are, they must be bears in suits. The people in suits, rather. <laughs> well, they are bears in suits, but <laughs> the way. <laughs> the uh, the like ice cream van itself has like a polar bear theme to it as mm-hmm. well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's perfect. Um, yeah. So the three of you find yourselves on your way to the scene of the crime. Well, wow, there's already a crime. <laughs> oh, the crime. Oh, no. Yes, right. honey was taken. <laughs> your good pal, honey, remember? <laughs> Giggles does not care. Um, <laughs> so yes, you find yourselves on your way to look for a few clues. Oh, my. And that is the end of the first episode of Honey Hikes, Whoa. everyone. Whoa. Woo. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll sp- what will <laughs> happen next time? On our Let's Play of Honey Heist Special Christmas Edition mm. RPG Let's Play. Uh, you'll have to find out tomorrow because these videos are going up one after the other over uh, the three days before New Year's, I think. So by the end of the third, you should be able to, well, probably not go out at this rate, but you'll be able to go to your New Year's, whatever it is. Uh, so please join us tomorrow at the same time for the second episode. But until then, thank you very much for watching this. We will see you on the next one, but until then, why not check out the rest of our YouTube channel? Hit the subscribe button, click the like icon, click the bell icon to get notified whenever we put something live. You can also head over and over to dicebreaker.com see some fantastic articles from Matt and me in. You can also join up to Dicebreaker Plus for more exclusive behind-the-scenes content. We put a hell of a lot out recently, so it is a brilliant time to join. Just hit the join button under this video, and you'll get more info on that. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next episode, but until then, have a lovely day. Goodbye!